Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Character Animator tutorial. We're going off a little tracker. I want to show you Character Animator, and in particular, I want to show you how to make adjustments to your characters or to your puppets in virtual real time. This is an incredible feature that allows you to make adjustments right away. So let me just show you how to do this. First off, I've loaded up uh, Adobe Character Animator. You will notice when I hover over here, we are using the beta version. Um, this works in both the beta and the, the full release, and I'm using the beta because they've got this body track functionality that I'm testing out. Anyways, the first step here is, of course, you want to click on your home screen or your home icon, pardon me, and then we're going to go ahead and we're just going to click on one of the example puppets. Uh, we don't want to talk about my workout, do we? Uh, you get the option of a Photoshop or an Illustrator puppet. For this one, I'm going to show you how to do it in Photoshop. Left click on Chad and then click on Photoshop. When you do that, it's going to load up the record options, and there I am. I'm talking. This is awesome, right? And it's it obviously it's caught me, even though it hasn't set my rest pose, but that's okay. It's got the audio. Um, but here, I want to make some adjustments to this Chad default puppet. The next step is you want to double click under the project panel, double click on Chad. And when you do that, this takes you to the Chad puppet. Now, the puppet is great, don't get me wrong, but it isn't exactly what I would like. I want to make some adjustments, let's say, to the hair. The way to do that is very simple. Head up to the project panel again, and you'll see Chad Photoshop. Right click. When you do that, you get four options, and one of them is Edit Original. This is the one that we want. Left click on Edit Original. It loads it inside of Photoshop or Illustrator if it's an Illustrator created puppet. Okay, great. You guys are following along. Now, I want to make adjustments to his face, let's say. So I'm going to left click, and it's very important, click on the layer. So I've left clicked on the bottom layer, which has his whole face minus his eyes and stuff like that. And for me, I want to do something to his hair. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a C, just for the heck of it. So I'm going to go over here to the left side, and I'm going to click on the brush tool. But any of these tools that allow you to write, that allow you to add text or add uh, stroke or anything like that work. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go to the brush tool. I'm going to left click on that. And then I'm going to go up to the brush. And right now I've got a shaggy weird brush selected. But I'm just going to go with the default soft round brush just because everybody has access to that so again i've clicked on the brush and then i've added the default soft round brush now i'm going to check the color the color is black that's well let's go with a red color why not let's go right over the top okay we're going to go bright red just so you can see it and then i'm going to go ahead and just add a c right in the middle of my forehead and that's down that stands for curtis again this is not going to win any design awards but I'm doing it anyway. I'm just showing you the technique. All right, so we've added a C. Now, click on File, Save. You've got to be very careful. You have to save it. Once you save it, we're going to go right back into Adobe Character Animator, which is down here. It's for me. It's the white version. Normally, you'll see like a darker purple one. Again, this is because I'm using the beta and testing it, but it works in both. Now, look at this. When you come back to your rig inside Adobe character creator the C has been added basically what we've done is we've added in adjustments to the puppet in pretty much real time saved it it then dynamic links back into character and then if we were to go into let's go example into the scene and when we click on it now we're talking we've got a C in the middle of my forehead which stands for of course for my first name guys that is an amazing option inside Adobe character animator thank you for watching this tutorial ton more stuff coming up stay tuned